Hey everybody and welcome back. Um, I am exactly where I left off. This is the high rise on top of Barbara's apartment building. And so we're gonna jump in here and see if we can hack our way to some freedom. Um, oh no, this is so locked tight. Uh, let's start with this one. I'm just kinda... Great. So that went about as well as expected. Maybe we should just not do that right now. I take it back. We're just we're just not doing it. We're not doing it. We're not we're not soaked up. We're not high enough level for that. Maybe once we get augmented. Um we do uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Elevators in this game, man, I swear. Alright. Let's go see what we got going on. See if we can peg Echo Corp. Well, great. This game, this game, it's, I love it. All right, here we go. Uh, let's do that. Just to kill up a little bit. Let's see what we got. It's a fake Barbara. All right, um, hold on, I'm gonna. I should really stick to the mission. All right, I get off on these little rags, these jags to go and um, explore, and then I forget what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's talk to, Sh not Charlene, Carmilla, I think her name is. Look, I'm not here for new friends, and I'm not giving up my place in the line. Is that you and me done here? Here, this note's in your handwriting. Barbara's been receiving threats in the same hand. What? Loads of people write like that. Double crossing their T's? I'm Dex, and this is you, not me, done here. Okay, relax, all right? It was me. I've been writing the letters. But you're talking like I'm the one that should be ashamed. She's the snake in the grass, not me. What are you talking She's about? She's got robot vocal cords. It's not her anymore. Some machine singing in her throat. What's the problem? She has a voice in Paula. That's it. Is that it? Is that it? This is Barbara. You've not heard of the voicers? Barbara, the last of the Lost Legion of Singers who middle fingered the auto tune and lip sync. This is Barbara we're talking about. Stay pure. Don't let them rend you. You've got to know that song. Who am I talking to here? Now, what? These threats are happening every day. I wasn't actually going to hurt her. I'm not some psycho. But she needs to know that her fans are so angry I could scream. What is this place? What are you doing here? Nothing. Okay. I'll tell. Seeing as the world is about to know anyway, now that the real Barbara is gone, it's up to me to take up the torch. No one knows her like I do, and when I get the same voice implant, I'll become me, a new Barbara. <laughs> Did you accidentally swallow a pharmacy? Screw you. You don't know pain. When love shatters on the parquet of your dreams, there's no turning back. There's no turning back. What are you are? Now, say that you're sorry. And say that you'll help me. I don't... Yeah, I might forgive and think forget. think that's what you should do. There's one more thing that the world needs. For me to sound the same as Barbara. My new cords have to be set the same as hers. And before they go in, can't recalibrate the damn things after the operation. But the doc says he won't tell me her settings, that they're confidential. Would you believe? I mean, I even have her B-side EPs for Christ's sake. So, if you could just access the data server somewhere in this building, you could get those settings for me, couldn't you? Couldn't you? I'll pay you. No. You're going to give up on this whole enterprise, and you're going to be a normal person. And why in the realm of cotton candy would I do that? <sighs> hmm. 
because she had no choice. She was losing her voice and she felt she owed it to her fans to keep it. Then she should have just stopped singing, the Judas. I'm not backing down now. Are you going to help me or not? Mm. Why not you I just don't you? understand, okay? For the money. You can do it for the money. No. Fine. Fine. If you won't help me, I'll... I'll... I'll see if Barbara will be so kind as to give me the settings herself. That is not great. Let me just try this really quick. I'm going to load this one because I have a thought. Look, I'm not here for what? Load? Okay, relax. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I wasn't actually... Is that it? Okay. Uh, what are you doing Nothing. here? Screw All right. You. No. Now, let's open. convince her again. So, if you could just... And why now, you're her number one fan. Why don't you just I talk to her, okay? Oh my god. You know you're right. There we go. Natural. Yes, that's me. I... I forgot. You know what? I'm gonna cancel the operation. Yes, and... I'll talk to her. Great. Look at that. Problem solved. You just gotta be slightly persuasive and not choose the wrong thing. Um, let's go to Afterlight and let's go see if we can sort things out. <coughs> well, step right in, little miss save the world. Camilla was here just now. Awesome. She told me all that happened. I can't thank you enough for dealing with her. You are welcome. And here's what I promised you. The poor child is humbled now. And I told her we could stay in touch if she wants. Seems she's got a voice of her own. If someone just taught her how to use it. I'll be seeing you then. Isn't that nice? Uh, AR skill? Nice. Should we do... Let's do melee. I'm going to be a melee person. Maybe. Um, and I did pick up a, another thing here in my inventory that I can use to increase my wedge, which is my actually useful AR program. All right. Um, what should we be doing now, I guess? Um, kebab shop? I, I to adapter Parish. I don't know what to do with this. Um... I need to figure out more about that stuff, but I'm not sure. Uh, I need a chemist. Maybe I can talk to the doctor. I don't think he would probably help me, but maybe. Let's see. Um, he is. If I go here, I haven't. I also have not checked out the docks at all. So we could go. Like we could go to all these other places if we wanted. Um, let's go to the Chinese quarter really quick. Let's go see about the, the doctor here. Hey, Niles. Are you a chemist? Hello again, Dex. What can I do for you? Uh, can you patch me oh, up? Oh, so I see. Okay. No there. problem. Hello um, again, Dex. What you can know what? I do? That does not... Okay, so he is not a chemist, or at least not someone who will help me analyze vitamin K or whatever it is. Special K? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, what else we got? I think we're down to just going and talking to that guy. Uh, get augmented. Adapt and Perish is on the bricks for now. Um, Dr. Home in the drugstore next to Fixer's Hope. Let's boogie. Hey, and maybe we'll get to explore Junction. Or just, it's right here. Hey, home. Um, let me just look around for a second. All right. A newcomer. Welcome. What You're a can I do pharmacist, for? right? Pharmacist is a limiting term. My inventory is more than cough syrups and paracetamol. Besides the official licensed medicines, I offer a range of micro-produced substances. 
some call them exotic. I uh, take a look at what you're stocking. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Some more antidepressants if I need them. Um, hey, could you what may look at this vial? Certainly. Only I'll require a hundred credits before the trouble. Sure. Excellent. My, my, this is lethal. What you have here is an assassin's wet dream. A slow-acting poison. Virus-like symptoms. Symptoms that take weeks to manifest, but ultimately prove fatal. The viral nature of its attack would remove all suspicion of poisoning. I can only imagine where you obtain this, but I shall not ask. The amount of people that talk so slow in this game kills me. Hey, the time. Um, what may I help you with this time? Niles said you might know about the implant crisis. An acquaintance of Dr. Niles. Let's see, yes. We've had a run of panicked customers lately. Each showing symptoms of implant rejection. Everything from migraines to hardware burns. I'm equipped to help in most cases, but when a 20 stone roughneck breaks in crying like a child, thrusts his shotgun into your neris and demands your entire stock of morphine, it can be a bit perturbing. I guess. I dare say my head would be all over the counter. If they didn't need it to learn which opioids to rob me of. You are an Eeyore, aren't you? Uh, what's behind the crisis? Mm -hmm. I have my suspicions, yes. Just last week, I was visited by several hooded individuals hmm. who promised to execute me if I didn't stop treating those augmented freaks. Okay. I asked them how they even knew I had such patience. They were not inclined to answer. I'm waiting for them to realize I've ignored their request. Who are these individuals? I identified one by his tattoo. A member of the True Bunny Gang. Crusaders of naturalism, they say. But to everyone else, just another brand of thuggery on our streets. They terrorize anyone seen to be sporting hardware. Could we find proof of their involvement? I appreciate those who take a considered approach to ethical cleansing. You have my respect and support. Some simple net running might be all that's needed. Intercept their communications over sea space and learn of their movements. They're not the brightest of individuals, so a moderately skilled hacker should have little problem bypassing their security. Okay. You do have hacking experience, don't you? Yeah, Decker taught me the basics. Decker, uh, I know the man. Then I suggest you jack in and learn what you can. Based on that, We'll determine a course of action. Sounds good. Hey, Dex. Tony here. I'm gonna guide you in. Dig around their domain for some info. It won't all be useful, but most times if it's secure, they don't want you to get it. So get it. Thanks, Tony. I kind of have done a couple of runs without you in the meantime, so I'm not super, like, incapable. Those things are still scary. Where's my... Oop, I accidentally used a data shield. Great. Um, pulse wave. Yeah, that'll kill it all at once. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, so I take back the horrible things I said about pulse wave. That's actually kind of useful.
Brothers, it has come to my attention that another enabler has revealed himself recently, a pharmacist near Fixer's Hope, named Home. He's been consistently providing painkillers and other drugs to alleviate the suffering of our victims, nullifying our efforts, slowing down, or even canceling implant rejection. I was asked to pay him a visit tonight and see, explain where his best interests lie. Make sure he gets a message. He shall not assist those who have chosen to walk off the true path. What a bunch of buttheads. Can I break these? Yeah, I can. Pow. What you got for me, bud? Time for us to come for us to strike again. At least a new wave of terror in the hearts and minds of the weak. In order for us to bring them closer to enlightenment, Harbor Prime must awaken and realize there is only one true path. Our path. They shall stop butchering their own bodies and seeking greatness from artificial enhancements. So today we have a new target. A cargo ship recently delivered advanced high-tech implants destined for almighty corporations such as Pansia. Shipment is currently stored on the docks inside of Warehouse 22. We can infiltrate this warehouse and disrupt this depraved technology so that all, even the high-end market, will tremble, tremble in fear of sabotage augmentations. We will also acquire new weapons to support our crusade. We have identified several containers of them inside that same warehouse, which should be brought back in order to arm our brothers. More details will be shared soon. Long live True Body. This one should do it. Yeah, that seems good. Let's get out. Hey, Britannia. What may I help um, you with this time? I managed to intercept True Body's comms, and they are responsible. You were right. I am not. Did you learn anything of their future movements? A warehouse at the docks. Some military-grade implants have just gotten shipped in. That's their next target. Mm -hmm. Well, if there's anything you need from that shipment, I suggest you get to the warehouse before they do. And speak to Niles. He, too, wants to put an end to this, and may know better than I to do it. I actually really like the amount of street respect these two guys for have each other. The other guy's like, you know, home probably knows better. And this guy's like, Niles probably knows better. Hey, um, other than, than True Body, are there any other gangs? You. Hmm. It seems we share a hobby. There are others, yes. And you have proved yourself capable with the True Body gang. Are you offering your services? If you talk a little faster, yes I am. I can help. Well, lately, a new gang has roused my interest. They've set up a narc lab in the neighborhood as a supply source for their business. I don't normally bear much interest in the street narcotics industry, but this is something more. I analyze the compound they are selling. Yeah. Those making it are either sociopaths, idiots, or both. Instead of using refined chemicals, they're employing a functional equivalent for domestic cleaning, no less. That includes an additional compound with horrible neurotoxicity. Cheaper, yes, but there's little commercial advantage in killing off your consumer base. Idiots. Oh, villains, whichever it is, their packets are killing people. I'm willing to pay generously to whoever might destroy their lab once and for all. Um, might I can... whoever be you? I could do better than that, man. I could blow up the lab and I could take out the scum running it. That wouldn't work. This oh. scum is a branch of a larger network of narc runners, and they are making good money. Even if you killed them all, the branch would just grow back. The labs are harder to replace. Take okay. that out, and they'll think twice about investing in a replacement. Okay, uh, you pay generously. You want to put a number mm -hmm. on that? <sighs> I can give you, let's say, 500. I'm on board. Plus Let's can, talk details. Uh, good. Here are the explosives to be placed in the middle of the main lab, if you will, to make sure the devastation is absolute. How you do it, be it widespread killing or quiet subterfuge, is entirely up to you. 
I care nothing for those. <laughs> I just want the lab ended. You are a weird guy. And here are the stim packs. Micro produced. Excellent quality. You will find the lab easily. Junction. It's huh? situated in a place called the junction between here and the slums. I warn you, it's a dangerous location. You will find no shortage of unsavories in the vicinity. The lab is inside the building and guarded from both inside and out. Alright. I can handle it. Probably. Um. Yeah, we gotta go to the junction. Um. We also gotta go to the docks. Alright, so let's go to the junction because it's right there. I guess that's what we're doing. Activate. Suck it. Dude was trying to jump me. Alright, oh, get him. Hey, cut that out. Cut that out. Nice. Alright, this place is okay. I can handle it. Maybe not. Alright, let's get away from that guy with the gun. Come on. Okay. Um. Dude, okay, so those dudes are down there. Alright, let's go over here. Can I shoot them from here? Yeah, I can. Maybe. Oops. Alright, hold on. Let's just reload. Hey, reload. Put a clip in your revolver. That sounds really great. Let's... Oh, I can't save. All right. Um, let's go. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. All right. No, stop doing that and aim. Oh, come on. God darn it. There. Oof. All right. Go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way. Alright, let's use some of those stims that guy gave us. Alright, now we can probably take this guy. Alright, that actually turned out pretty good. Um, this Magnum is actually a, a useful weapon. I'm pretty okay with that. Let's go get this, this gun guy, though. to try this might be our lab oh what's up dude i need help i've been shot and the cop huh? be anything oh unless you give me some assistance here this should help don't move take a med kit oh thanks kid i thought my goose was cooked that time dude, this guy's so cross-eyed uh don't mention it but how come nobody else helped you uh, even if <laughs> Oh, even if anyone wanted to, they wouldn't. Can't be seen helping a cop in this neighborhood. Oh, damn amazed, I've still got my wallet and my piece. What happened? Of life on the force is what happened, kid. Now, the first time I've been jumped. Oh, but this one, I didn't see coming, nor leaving. A pro. Why didn't this pro finish you, you off? I'm on a badge, kid, let me know. You're right. Beats me. <laughs> Sure as hell. Sure as hell wasn't an act of mercy in this neighborhood. Maybe it was a message, not a hit. Telling me to back off. Who would have wanted you to do this? Like, who would have wanted to do this to you? My brain. <laughs> Cross my friends around here off the suspect list. There. All done. Oh, look. 
This is my job, kid. I'm a cop. That's all there is to it. Been taking around a racket lately. Some small timers. The slicers. It's got to have something to do with that. Must be onto something if they cap you for just sniffing around. If it's them that got me, then all signs are pointing the same way. You're right. Why don't you just arrest them? <laughs> oh. Oh, the days of dawn raids on armed gangs are long over, kid. Stopped around the time my chicken shit comrades started telling the gangs we were coming. Their way of avoiding a fight. But if you've got more cojones and want to lend this old dog a hand, I might have a job for you. You can find me downtown, outside everyday guns. Think about it. And thanks, kid. Yeah, you're welcome. I'll think about that. I don't know if I want to fight with a cop yet, but... You know? Maybe. You seem like the old school kind of cop. The kind that might... I don't know. Be worth their salt. Um, Let's go back and check this other door over here. hate those guys. Uh, alright. Give me my... This gun is garbage. Ah, uh, the 38 special. Hey, I got Magnum Ammo. That's awesome. Um, okay, that's where you put the C4. I don't want to do that yet. I want to steal everything I can steal that's not nailed down first. Blap, blap, blap. Oh, God. Just punch him. Just punch him. There. All right. Ooh, interesting. All right, let's take this. High-end data chip, a whole bunch of random stuff. Let's reload, even though we're going to lose some of our ammo. Let's reload. And then um, I have Magnum ammo now, so let's do that. I think I'm just going to, like, stop using that other gun. This this is so much better. I'm going to keep it just in case I need it, but... All right, let's get the heck out of here. Good enough for me. Sweet, let's just hit up the slums really quick. I don't think I need to go through much of this. I'm just actually gonna... Yeah, because if I go all the way here, then I can always fast travel back. As soon as you've entered an area, it lets you. So, like, I'm gone everywhere except the scrapyard. Let's go back to Fixer's Hope, and then let's tell him that we totally wrecked that, that lab. Hey, buddy. I heard an explosion. I assume you finished the job. Yeah, the lab is out. Excellent. The streets just got a good deal safer. Here's your paper. I might have another contract for you, if you're interested. I wouldn't normally have much this task to you, but you have proved capable. If you like, we can discuss it. I'm down to help you some more as long as you talk faster. Well, as I said, I'm not sure whether you are the right person for this task. I get it, let's go. I need someone with suitable equipment. First things first, come back if you're able to acquire a respirator implant or anything else that protects against toxic gas. Okay. I shan't tell you more without that, for your own safety. I hope you will respect my decision. Thanks, home. It's really nice that someone has my best interests at heart. Um, I wish that you would just give me the mission. All right, guys, we did some good today. We helped a police officer by accident, and we blew up a drug lab, which I guess makes up for that time we sold drugs to a lady. 
six of one, half dozen of the other. In any case, um, this has been Cyberpunk TV, and you have been wonderful. I will see you guys soon for more decks.